Artificial intelligence is a field of research focusing on automation. To demonstrate progress, we typically use benchmarks, which you can think of as tests, and different teams around the world compete to build the best systems for these benchmarks. Our goal is to make a shift in the field of AI, encouraging researchers to focus not only on improving the final numbers, but also towards greener goals. Models are becoming bigger and bigger in AI, and they're becoming more and more expensive. Expensive in terms of money, in terms of energy. And uh, as a person who cares a lot about these things that go beyond uh, my Im immediate work, this got me a bit concerned uh, that while uh, on the one hand I'm trying to make personal choices like riding my bike to work, but then I get to work and I spend more energy and more computation than I would if I've driven my car across the planet. If we're just driving down the block, we don't need to drive our car. Instead, we can use a smaller amount of energy and walk or bicycle and get there in about the same amount of time. So practically, if we care about the quality of our AI system, it's not always necessary to train a new model from scratch on all of the data that we have access to so that we use it in a small sort of dedicated area for a very specific task. Because people only typically care about the final number, they will put as much computation, as much money into improving their performance, basically using larger models, using more data and running more experiments. So each of these three factors contribute to what we call Red AI, and we actually call them the Red AI equation that tells us basically what is the price tag of getting some scientific results. The downside of this is not just that it's expensive, but also that this is causing a lot of researchers to just not have a large enough budget to be able to participate in the research community. Even though they might have the best ideas that could drive our field forward, Instead of just focusing on the final numbers of accuracy, we also want to take other factors into consideration, such as uh, how efficient they are, how much energy they consume, how much time it takes to run them, and so on, and uh, reproducibility, how valid uh, research conclusions that we make from them. And this is what we call uh, green AI. Green AI is just the process of appropriately describing our budget, providing small budget, evaluations, which gives a hook for other researchers to compare against in the future, and also hopefully driving down the cost of AI research going forward so that more people can participate and the cost to everyone is lower. Question of, I mean, what exactly to report is a question that doesn't have a clear answer. The most important criterion for us was that something that could be compared between different researchers at different places with different hardware, different times, and so on and so forth. So this is why we advocate for the FPO, that stands for a floating point operation. And this basically uh, measures the number of mathematical operation that are required to run a specific model. If I run this operation on my computer here in Israel or somewhere else around the world, two pieces of software will get to the exact same result. Floating point operations has these nice properties that we're looking for in a measure of efficiency, but there are some drawbacks. It's not perfect, but as a starting point, Floating point operations uh, right now strike the right balance. Our goal is to, to change the norms of the community, of the field of AI. Once people do a better job at reporting the amount of computation, other people can uh, try to compete along these lines and come up and say, maybe uh, they won't say I have a better result uh, uh, with a fraction of a percent, but I'm running twice as fast or consuming one third of the amount of memory required to get this result. People are generating so much text every day talking to each other, and we want to be able to extract information from that. But right now, it's at a scale, at a scope that is beyond what our large models can do. And so promoting efficiency, not only is that going to help the AI research community, but it also will enable us to process the incredible amounts of data that people are generating all the time.